And at number one, we have the Hermes Kelly bag, with prices starting at well over £6,500 for the Mini Kelly. The Hermes Kelly bag is one of the most valuable, sought after and coveted luxury bags of all time. The Hermes Kelly bag comes with a storied history and took over 50 years before it was officially named the Kelly. First introduced in 1935, the Kelly bag was originally called the Sac de Peches before it was catapulted to wealth status by fashion icon, American born actress turned Monica princess, Grace Kelly. Grace Kelly carried the bag everywhere. And on one occasion in 1956, she was photographed innovatively using the gorgeous accessory as a camouflage to hide her growing pregnancy from paparazzi. It was the public who actually named the Sac de Peches the Kelly bag, and it was eventually renamed the Kelly in 1977. For almost a century, the Hermes Kelly bag has become an icon, transcending fashion as a keepsake and heirloom. And at number two, we have the Hermes Birkin bag, with prices starting at well over £7,000 for the Birkin 25. Hermes Birkin bags are amongst the most desired items in luxury fashion industry. The Hermes Birkin is named after a cultural icon, the singer, actress and model Jane Birkin, an English actress based in France during the majority of her career. The Birkin came to existence following an exchange between Jane Birkin and former Hermes chief Jean-Louis Dumas, who met by chance on a flight from Paris to London in the early 80s. Jane explained to Dumas it was hard to find a leather weekend bag that she liked. Dumas suggested she needed one with pockets, and this sparked a conversation about her ideal bag. Dumas immediately pulled out a pencil and an airplane sick bag, and the two designed a sketch for the Birkin. Hermes officially debuted the now iconic Birkin bag in 1984. The Hermes Birkin bag is the ultimate status symbol of wealth. The exclusiveness of the Hermes Birkin bag is steeped in celebrated history, heritage, tradition, and craftsmanship. And at number three, we have the Chanel 255, with prices starting at upwards of £3,650 for the mini bag, and upwards of £7,550 for the medium size. The Chanel reissue 255 prototype was first released in 1925. Initially made from woolen fabric, a quilted jersey material and featured a rectangular twisting lock with very short strap, which meant you could only carry it on the crook of your arm or as a clutch. Gabrielle Coco Chanel then updated and revamped the design she'd been evolving and it wasn't until February 1955 that Coco Chanel debuted a shoulder-carried version of the bag, and the end product was called the 255 after the date and launch of the creation. The Chanel 255 was initially discontinued shortly after the release of the Chanel Classic Flap due to its popularity, but later the late Karl Lagerfeld decided in 2005 to bring it back and called it the reissue 255 bag. Chanel released an exact duplicate of the original 255 to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the original 255. The Chanel Reissue 255 holds the history and longevity of a true icon. The bag is not only the most iconic bag from the fashion house, but is also one of the most iconic handbags in the fashion world as a pioneer. And at number four, we have the Louis Vuitton Armour with prices starting at upwards of £1,260 for the BB size. Created in 1934 by Gaston Louis Vuitton, the Louis Vuitton armour bag was actually rumoured to be a custom-made bag at the request of Gabrielle Chanel. But it wasn't until years later that Coco Chanel gave her permission to manufacture the bag for general consumption of all fashionistas. Although the armour is now one of the most recognisable handbags in the world, it has taken several decades for this model to evolve. It was first redesigned in 1950s and called the name Sac Marceau. It was then redesigned to be more compact and modernised for everyday use and renamed the Squire Bag. An additional year, few years later, it was renamed the Sac Champ Elise. Yet again, the bag model reappeared in 1992 with an updated and revitalised design and slimmer profile, decked out in Louis Vuitton's signature monogram canvas and given the name Alma, a tribute to place the Alma a landmark spot in the tree-lined square in Paris, where the Avenue Montaigne meets the Sienne in the Paris high fashion district. 
The Alma is a lovely, sophisticated bag that is timeless and classic. And at number five, we have the Dior Lady Dior, with prices starting at upwards of £3,900 for the small size. Since its debut, the Lady Dior handbag has never stopped turning heads. The Lady Dior bag is undeniably a classic bag, a bag fit for a princess. This iconic bag was actually endorsed and elevated by the style and elegance of a real-life princess and became one of the favourite chosen accompanying bags of one of the world's most adored princesses. The original Lady Dior bag was debuted in 1994 under the creative director of Jean-Franco Fur. The elegant bag was yet to be named and was officially called the Chouchou, a French term of endearment which in English means favourite. Bernadette Chirac, France's former first lady, is said to have asked the world-renowned Dior to make a special item for Princess Diana for her visit to France, as she wished to give her a unique gift for the occasion as a token of French culture. The house offered her the chouchou, and it was created in leather for the first time and completed from start to finish in record time in a single night. The bag was presented to the princess at the inauguration of the Paul Cézanne exhibition at the Grand Palais in Paris. And Diana absolutely loved it from its first appearance and from that moment onwards. The Lady Dior made history and was catapulted to iconic bag status. The larger series was officially launched in 1996, paying homage to Princess Diana, when the Dior Fashion House officially changed the name of the Shushu to the Lady Dior bag. With a few amendments and updates, the Lady Dior still remains one of the true classic and iconics from Dior. Synonymous with star elegance and beauty, the Lady Dior is rich in history and heritage. And at number six, we have the Louis Vuitton Speedy Bag with prices starting at upwards of £1,060 for the 25 size. When introduced, the Speedy was an instant success. But before the Speedy came into existence, its precursor was the Keepal. George Vuitton invented the signature Keepal as the perfect travel companion as an overnight weekend bag. The Keepal model was so popular that soon after a smaller version, under the name The Express, was created. The Express was a pure travel accessory designed for more personal effect, so that travellers could keep their travel essentials close. The Express was then adapted once again to meet the demands of the busy woman of the time. With that, in 1932, the Express was referred to and renamed to the Speedy. A year after its debut, Louis Vuitton reintroduced the Speedy in the monogram canvas. Even though the Speedy bag continued to grow in popularity, it can be argued that it did not become the timeless iconic bag it is today until Audrey Hepburn was seen carrying one in the 1960s. The Louis Vuitton Speedy has endured the test of time and trend to remain one of the most iconic bags in fashion history. And at number seven, we have the Chanel Classic Flat. With prices starting at upwards of £7,090 for the small size and upwards of £7,550 for the medium size. From the expert craftsmanship to the beautiful and rich history behind this bag, the Chanel Classic Fat is most definitely a classic and timeless forever bag. The story of the Chanel Classic Flat bag is rooted in the creation of the Chanel 255 bag. The original 255 had been redesigned multiple times over the years, but the most significant adaptation was created by the late Karl Lagerfeld in 1983. He introduced a new version of the 255 called the Chanel Classic Flat also known as the 1112. Lagerfeld made a few changes to the 255 to make the elegant and timeless Chanel Classic Flap, updating the bag with a few distinctive features, innovatively changing the classic square twisting lock of the 255, known as the Mademoiselle Lock, to the iconic interlocking CC Lock Clasp hardware, one of the main characteristic differences between the 255 and the Chanel Classic Flap, staying true to the original while showcasing its own sophisticated flair signature. The classic flap is a bag that has stood the test of time and fashion. And at number eight, we have the Fendi Peekaboo bag, with prices starting at upwards of £2,850 for the Fendi Peekaboo ICU petite size and upwards of £3,200 for the Fendi Peekaboo mini. The Fendi Peekaboo bag debuted on the runway for the Spring Summer 2009 collection and was created by Sylvia Venturini Fendi, the granddaughter of Adele and Eduardo Fendi, who is credited with designing and launching one of Fendi's most timeless and iconic bags. The Fendi Peekaboo bag was envisioned as a timeless heirloom, a classic that can be passed on to the next generation. 
Fendi has imagined and revitalized the Fendi peekaboo season after season, solidifying its appeal to women from all generations. Famed for its iconic design, the peekaboo bag takes its name from the popular children's game Hide and Seek, and also gets its name from its unusual construction, where the two internal compartment halves are divided in the middle by a rigid partition by a metal bar. This creates a front flap that can be pushed down to reveal the central partition and the artistry of the bag inside. This gives the peekaboo an element of surprise as it gives you a peek revealing the interior with the engraved Fendi logo plate. The peekaboo is a simple, complex and timeless bag. The appeal lies in its understated sophistication and elegance, with a discreet if you know you know appeal as it's not loud or embossed with any logos. The peekaboo is a testament to the bag's timeless look and Fendi's quality craftsmanship has proven to stand the test of time. And at number nine, we have the Delvo Brillion bag. With prices starting at upwards of £4,600 for the mini size. Le Brillion bag was created in 1958 as part of Delvo's collection for when Brussels hosted the World Fair. Said to be inspired by the Philips Pavilion, a remarkable structure designed by the office of Le Cabousier by Swiss French architect Charles Edouard de Genere with the building fittingly named Le Brillion. Elegant and sophisticated, the beautiful Brillion bag has won over hearts of the elites and socialites for more than six decades. The Brillion bag is a perfect finishing touch to every outfit, a beautiful bag for all seasons. From the classic to the fanciful, the Brillion bag has been reimagined multiple times, but still exudes the sophistication and elegance with the unique Delvaux Savoir Faire and superior mastery that makes it highly desired and confetted for those looking for stealth luxury pieces. And at number 10, we have the Gucci Bamboo Bag, with prices starting at upwards of £2,230 for the mini size. One of the world's very first it bags can be arguably said to be the Gucci Bamboo Bag. Few bags are as recognisable and as creative as the curved, semi-circular handle of the famous Gucci Bamboo Bag, which helps catapult Gucci to worldwide recognition. The famous Gucci Bamboo Bag was designed and released in 1947 in select Gucci boutiques. Wartime rations created material shortages in 1947, impacting the fashion industry, including Gucci, due to the fact that the materials to create bags were limited. However, Gucci artisans found an innovative solution and created a new bag design that could be produced despite the embargoes. They came up with the brilliant idea to incorporate bamboo into their handbags. Gucci found in used bamboo, which was extremely durable and easily imported from Japan to craft their luxury handbags. The usage of bamboo was also reduced the amount of leather to make the bag and the cost. The bamboo handles were synonymous with Gucci from the 1940s onwards. The Gucci bamboo bag is the fashion house's cornerstone design and still remains a favourite today as an essential part of the identity of the Gucci fashion house that will forever leave a distinguished legacy in the brand.